Hello, my name is Reverend Katrina Jenkins, and I serve as Dean of Religious Life at Rollins College here in town. Reverend Jenkins installed a labyrinth as a way to connect the community to the land through sacred space. So our work is really to embrace and to bring people in, say you belong here, you belong in this country, you belong to each other, and we will protect each other, and we're going to make life <laughs> full. So the fact that you know you're not alone, the fact that you there's people like Sister Anne, that Nilka, that really, really care about you and care about your problems, and they get involved with your family, uh, all of that has a huge impact. Sister Anne understands it is the environmental relationship. The people share with the land both the struggle and the sustainability. Pastor Robinson extends the unity of her neighborhood, her congregation, and her garden to collectively cultivate spaces of sacred purpose. Now churches own millions of acres of land, and that land could be used to create more sustainable, food-sovereign communities and make sure that our neighbors are well-fed. Now that's the vision of Pastor Sarah Robinson, my friend, and not only her vision, but what she's actually doing here. Our vision is to become a model of sustainability for faith communities all around the world. The Bible says we are to care for the earth, but regardless of what you believe, we feel that what we're doing here is something that anyone can do. So one of the things that we realized is we have a lot of unused space on the property and we wanted to use it more intentionally. And so we partnered with a local organization called Fleet Farming. Their motto is grow food, not lawns. They make people's front yards into gardens and they have swarms of volunteers that they gather to care for those gardens. And the people who live there are able to take what they would like from the vegetable garden. And the rest goes to local farmers markets and chefs. Uh, and that, all that goes back into the community. And so our garden here, uh, one of their largest, actually we open it to the community. Anyone can come and, and take vegetables from our garden. For our home, we will fight. fight. Behind the science, we unite. And the only hope we know is if we do this together